Hi, my name is Ksenia and I'm a solo motorcycle traveler living on the road full time. And in this series, I'm sharing how I pack my whole life into a single motorcycle. Let's get into this. Uh, I'm coming back from a couple of months of riding with my new motorcycle. His name is Phoenix. I installed all the options I wanted to last moment before this trip. And I got this couple of months of testing all, the, all my setup. I want to share with you guys what I like in my setup and what I don't like. Here are all the options that I added to this bike. This is, by the way, is 1250 JS, JS Trophy, year 2023. Standard suspension. So first and foremost, of course, I changed the tires. These are Mitas E07. They are 50-50. I, I picked the bike up from the dealership and in two weeks I got into the mud, the deep that I really appreciated. I have these tires. Now the crash bars. I rode out from the dealership with the lower uh, crash bars just because I know myself and I know how I use the motorcycle. I chose this type of color and this type of coating because the scratches are visible less on this and I install the black. So these are the BMW, these are the original BMW and also I got a cylinder, it's a cylinder guards under the crash bars. So these black things, they are not original, they are from Machine Motor, Machine Motor Art. And then I have upper crash bars in black color, they are from Hepka and Becker. This was a concern for me because I, I was not sure it, uh, if I need them or not because they add weight on the front and they are pretty heavy. But since I ride off-road a lot, I would prefer uh, to have them. But just keep in mind, if you install the upper crash bars, then it adds weight and you can feel this. Now the skid plate. Skid plate was one of the first parts I replaced like the uh, BMW, the JS, it comes with some kind of skid plates, but in reality it will not uh, hold, hold up to uh, any type of the crash from the bottoms. This is from Black Dog. They do really sturdy stuff. I love this company. I think that if, if I crash, then the skid plate will survive even if the whole motorcycle will be gone. Next, I, I also had my foot packs uh, in off-road on this bike uh, coming from the dealership because this is just Trophy and just Trophy comes with uh, off-road foot pegs. Now I replaced my rear brake with an another brake pedal. It's the original BMW detail. It, it was about 200 bucks. It really changed the game for me. First, I, uh, it has the uh, flipping part and I can make the uh, brake lower or higher, how I wish. And on off-road, when I'm standing on the foot pegs, I want my brake pedal to be higher than the original one. I ended up just to keeping it in off-road position and I, I really love how easy it is for me to now to reach the brake pedal, both on-road and off-road. I just do not put it on, into on-road position, never. That's what I found. Also, the brakes are linked. So when I use my front brakes, a rear brake is also getting activated. But still, if I, if I want more braking power, I would use, uh, I'm using both of the brakes. Now, I uh, had my panniers from Moscow Motor from my previous bike, so I did not buy this. I really love my panniers, uh, not switching to anything. What I had to install is the luggage rack. And I got a luggage rack from Outback Motortech, the same company I had a luggage rack on my previous motorcycle. Sturdy enough. Then I got the uh, Vario case from BMW. What I love about this case, three things. First, it is expandable, means there is a handlebar inside and I can collapse it by this amount of uh, space or I can expand this. Uh, then it is locked. I can lock it with the same motorcycle key as uh, I use to start the bike. And third one, I was 
debating between getting the soft bag and hard bag. Ended up with hard bag because it, it can be locked securely, securely comparing to the soft bag. Soft bag is better when you go off road, and also you, uh, with uh, with the soft bag it's lighter and you can keep the weight uh, less and you can keep the weight lower. But another cool feature for the plastic tank bag, you can put stickers on it. <laughs> it comes with uh, some kind of handlebars. They are plastic. I do not trust them, even though I know people who ride with them like all the time and uh, it, it works for them. But I know myself, so I got bark busters on day one. Also, I got a protection for the for the headlight. This is LED light and this is a super expensive uh, piece of the motorcycle. So I have a protection, a headlight, headlight protection from Turatec. They call it quick release, which means I can take it off and then it's easier to install it back if I need to clean it or anything. Got my clear water lights installed and huge shout out to this company they support me i'm the ambassador i really love the engineering behind these lights i like i like how easy it is to, to install it's just two cores i have small darla li lights installed on the back of my front tire uh, they are called visibility lights they are powerful enough to make you more visible on the road i really love that they're in yellow color because when for myself when i'm uh, riding or driving uh, when when i check the road if there is something with only uh, white lights then i might consider that this is a car and if i see that the, the colors are like white yellow whatever it is i immediately know that this is a motorcycle also on the front i have a pair of lights installed they are more powerful po powerful but they are different uh, from uh, right to left on the right side i have a more pow powerful uh, light to see the side of the road on the left i have a less powerful light not not to blind the traffic that is going the opposite way they have an awesome team of engineers and they put a lot of research and thoughts into their lights i really love them i have my backlight here this is called Billy light from clear water it's an additional brake light which has a lot of different cool features which i will be talking about in a separate video but this is a really big safety improvement for me i kept the additional windshield because i am a short rider and this works pretty well for me but i know that a lot of people are replacing these uh, windshields with touring windshields also on the front i have I, I, I have my phone mount from Peak Design and I just moved it from my old motorcycle. I really love it. It softens the vibrations from the road. So I really love this stuff. I also got my tank bag installed. Same thing here, just moved from my previous bike. Some added some cords here and that's basically it, I think. Now for my future improvements, what I want to do, I want, so this is a two-step seat. I was uh, debating with myself between getting a two-step and rally seat. I went with two-step for now and thinking that if I, uh, if, I, if I don't like it, I will replace it. But now I actually, I am really happy that I got two-step because my plan is to keep the front part, but for the back part, part for the passenger seat, I will just remove it so that it, it will empty a lot of space for me. It will help to bring the weight lower and also it will empty some space because usually most of the time I don't ride with passenger at least when I'm on a big trips and I'm gonna get late which will be instead of my back part of my seat uh, it will be from tour attack and it will be a quick release again which means it will be easy for me to switch back so I will be able to switch between the plate and no passenger seat and and the passenger seat like full size like I have right now uh, I also replaced the original radiator guard because it was made of plastic and was kind of flimsy I think it is supposed to be replaced so I have them uh, made of metal right now and also I have a side foot extension and this is probably one of the first options that we get for our bikes if we ride off-road because you park your bike on sand you park it on a soft surface and the side side stand just goes deep and your bike tips over so we get this uh, side foot extension and i have the one from altrider altrider is an awesome company uh, based in seattle really love these guys as well so that's probably it there are reasons behind my choices I think I mentioned almost all of them. 
Bark busters is the most tough hand, hand, uh, hand guards that you can get on the market, tested by the whole world. Same goes for the skid plate, the toughest. I, I was just choosing the toughest on the market because the bottom is what I want to protect the most since the en engine and all. Uh, for cylinder protection, I also went for the toughest. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions to any pieces of uh, gear that I have installed here. I tested this for a couple of months, uh, both on-road and off-road, uh, moving all around US and Canada, riding long distance, camping, taking this bike place, places to all type of terrain. So if you have any, que any questions to any of the pieces that I was talking about, let me know. I might have an answer for you. So yeah, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next Sunday.